If you're a NASCAR fan, chances are you've heard of legendary pit reporter and stock car magazine editor Dick Bergeron. Dick is a New England native, and upon his retirement from television, well, he just could not shake his passion for motorsports. So what did he do? He started a museum. How did this whole thing come about, Dick? Well, there was a time when there was a vintage gathering of people, and, and a fellow named Vic Urardi came to me and he said, we're losing New England's racing heritage. Somebody needs to start a museum to save these old cars and the pictures and the stories. And he said, you're the guy to do it. So many New Englanders, myself included, are thankful that you did preserving the heritage of the Northeast in this museum. Jeff Bodine's modified from the 70s. Yeah, now, built in 1977 and 1978, this car won 55 feature events here in New England and in New York State. Nothing has come along since then to equal that feat. So this is the first car that was on the floor and we are proud to have it. In 1966, Ernie Gahan won the national championship. There's the trophy. Essentially, this is the car uh, that he won it with in 1966. That's not how you spell Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. But when over the course of the winter, uh, the car was repainted and the sign painter misspelled Ernie's name and he won the first race out with it, with that paint, and he said, don't change a thing. Superstitions in racing. Who said they ever happened? If you win, you keep everything <laughs> just the way it was. Wow. Motorcycles too. Yeah, absolutely. A good story behind this one. Jody Nichols was leading a race here at Briar Motorsports Park. That's before it was New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And he fell off. And the guy that was running second had such a lead on the guy running third, he just cruised. Well, Jody got back up on his motorcycle, passed him on the last turn of the last lap and won the race. Amazing. Talk about determination. Never give up. Well, most of what we've got here is shiny and polished, but you look at this and say, what happened? Well, Charlie Greer took a wild ride at New England Dragway on it, and they wound up parking the car in the garage for 44 years. <laughs> 44 until it, years? Yeah, nobody saw it for 44 years until it came here to the museum. That's as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, some spectacular equipment, Dick. This helmet? It's taking a beating. Yeah, and Reno Tulinen wore that helmet, and I asked his widow where all the dents came from, and she explained that he drove cars that didn't have roll bars and hit his head on the racetrack. Man, a long way from the full face helmets they wear today. Yes. <laughs> Joey Logano is a 2018 NASCAR champion, and this is the car that he won his first race in in the top series that NASCAR runs. So when we were doing the museum, I went to Joey and I said, gee, have you got anything we could put on the floor of the museum? This trailer truck shows up with the car he wins his first race in and the trophy he won that day, which is eight feet off the ground so nobody takes it home <laughs> when they come visit the museum. So many drivers keep these things, maybe even put them in their living room, but Joey donated it to the Northeast Motorsports Museum. He's a generous guy. Wow, look at this, a library. <laughs> well, hey, our goal is to preserve the history of motorsports in New England, so you gotta have a library for that. We've got over 600 bound volumes, We've got magazines, complete collections of the most important auto racing magazines covering motorsports, thousands of photographs, posters. I mean, if it's paper, probably in this room if it's about auto racing. I wouldn't expect anything less from a former Tufts University professor. Uh, also married to a librarian. Well, Dick, there's lots of cool pieces of motorsports history in the museum, but none look faster standing still than this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a super modified, a big block engine running on alcohol, direct drive, no clutch, no transmission. Just push the throttle to the floor and go. You can see the hardware it collected, quite the collection. The, the entire museum is quite the collection. Thanks for having us here. Folks, if you're ever in the area, loud in New Hampshire, near the New Hampshire Motor Speedway, be sure to make a point to stop by. It's totally worth it. Up next, it's the latest technology that can do the impossible. Find a car in a parking lot. When Driven continues. <laughs>